All right, everybody, Mitchell here. So excited. We are doing the actual build here. So Dennis is actually going to start out with the uh, as the chief builder of the PC. And myself and Kennedy will actually be the assistants for him. So welcome again, Mason Dog Academy of Technology. If you like the videos and you like our previous videos, make sure you like, sub, and leave comments. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Dennis, and I'll just kind of narrate. And uh, if Kennedy has questions, she'll ask questions as we go. And this will be sort of like a time lapse uh, video as well, just so we don't, it, you know, some little boring bits. So we'll kind of time lapse it as we go. All right, so I'll let you uh, go ahead and do your thing, Dennis. All right, so first, you're going to take the power supply and we're going to melt it into the chassis. It just slides right in. And on the back of here, there's four screw holes if you line up. Take your four screws, your screwdriver, hold it in place. All right, now that that's done. Here, I got a second one too. That way uh, we can help you out. Or okay. Kennedy can help out too. That we can try to, that we can actually build it yet. So next we're gonna do the kill management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the actual power button. So what Kennedy asked right here, is this the power button? So that's the actual power button and, yeah, and we're connecting right switch here. And So you plug something here to plug up in the wall? Mm-hmm. With uh, this cable right here. Oh, okay. So what are these for? These are going to plug in. So this will go to your GPU to power it up. This will go to your motherboard to power your motherboard up. This will go to your uh, your CPU to power your CPU. So cable management is my, it's my stickler. I can't stand messy cables. If you already know where most of these cables are going to run, it makes it easier. Typically, your motherboard power will go to your, uh, your bottom garment, pull it through, set it to the side. Your video card, same bottom grommet, push it through, move it to the side. CPU power, top grommet, CPU is be powered up here. Next, we're going to do the CPU onto the motherboard. Let me put one on. And do we have two or three? We have two. Okay. You, you want to use it? I can give it to you. No, no, you're you going to be doing the board, so that's fine. It has to be tight, all right? All right. As long as the metal's touching your skin, that's all that matters. I saw a shit put it right here. Yeah. And you can, it's got a tight, a little strap you can tighten that right here. Oh, we should probably put this in next, to be honest. Mm -hmm. We should probably put this in next. Okay. So next we're going to install the motherboard backplate into the tower. If I can get it out of here first. So everything is listed on here on what is what, what it corresponds with on the actual back of the motherboard right here. And it just pops right in. It's super simple. Get up here, hold it in place, and just push it in. So there's so no it's, screws, you just pop it in? It just pops in. It's just basically there to, for support, dust, things like that. It, it, there's no really no support into it. More of like a visual thing. I wish it was black like the case though. That'd be really yeah. nice. So next we're gonna do the motherboard. We're gonna get the CPU mounted onto the for you. Release the clip, lift it up. Why do you have to do that? So what this does is 
these there's little pins in the bottom right here and they go in, oh you're gonna put that right it there it sits inside it and this will lock in place oh okay and what is that again the uh the cpu oh. this is what tells the computer what to do and everything and there's little pins on the back you do not want to bend those break them snap one off nothing the good thing about it is this little triangle right here will correspond with this triangle right there Sets in there. Just drop right it drops in. Right just in. like you did. Yep. Push it down. Lock in place. You can hear a little noise. Mm -hmm. when you drop just like it, a little bud. Yeah, yep. yeah. It's right all the connections just being gripped together, mm -hmm. basically. After that, we'll do, we'll do the fan. So, I got a question. Yeah. I know this is two fans inside of there. Mm -hmm. What are those two for? Like air, fans different? Well, these will create airflow inside here. To, so if it's hot inside your, your in your tower, this will bring cool, fresh air from outside in here and blow it at the top. So it keeps a circulation of cool air coming in, hot air going out, yeah. Okay. And what's this one for? This is why you keep the CPU cool, because these things get extremely, extremely hot. Oh, okay. It's uh, vital that you want to keep this as cool as possible. Uh, air cooling is a good solution. Water cooling is the best solution. Yep. And it's got the thermal, uh, you know, paste, the thermal on paste on the bottom of it. Already applied for you. The paste just acts as a. Uh, don't touch that. Uh, I, no, I wouldn't. No, 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 yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't touch it. It's really good for thermal conduction. It takes the heat off this, spreads it out, puts it onto the heat sink, spreads it out. Fan takes that heat and disperses it back into the case. These fans push Get rid it out. Of it. So think of these like an exhaust. Yeah. 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 They exhaust it out of the out of the case. Everything plays such an important role. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we've got to take these screws out right here. Uh, screwdriver. What's the what size bit? Do the small one or a bigger one? Oh, I got, I got it already. Okay. fan just sits right on top. You can match it up with the holes that's already inside there from the screws you just took out. And these all have springs in them. So you'll put a little <coughs> pressure on each one, let it connect, pop the corner, push it a little bit. And the biggest thing about what he's doing, you do not want to over tighten because no, okay. you don't want to damage the motherboard uh, when you're doing this. That's a good feature. So once you get them all in there, then you just go around and lightly tighten. Can you feel it's getting tighter? Not you? Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll definitely know okay. when it's uh when it's tight enough. You don't want to crank on it too hard. If you feel it kind of stop, that's pretty much good. Yeah. So we'll let you put the you can put the ram in into the into the motherboard. That'd be that'd be cool. We're gonna open this up real quick. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. This is awesome. You are watching Lacing Dog Academy of Technologies. All right, and then the fan power, one of these headers up here, it's going to be this bottom one, CPU fan. Match these little uh, lines up, the same spacer right there. Push it down, line it up, and just, there you go. All right, let's do it. So the next thing is gonna be the RAM. Which is right here. right here. And we can let Kennedy uh, put that in if you want to show her how yep. to do it. So the old style RAM was really easy to do because we're going to use both of these. Yep, we're going to use both of them. So the reason I say the old RAMs were easier was these slots right here were down farther. And you can see on here, they look like they're almost dead even, but they're not. They'll be flipped around this way and go in that way. Yep. The old ones. It'd typically be down here or up here. Really easy to, to know where it's going. Because there's some people that won't match it up right and they'll just start pushing down on it. You don't, it, it'll really damage it. Yeah. 
And you want to match it up, excuse me, sorry. You want to match the gray with the gray or the black with the black. Yep. And you do it. So if you look at if you look at the pins on here, one mm -hmm. is gray and one is black. So you want to match gray and gray, gray and gray, or black and so black. So you'll put one in this first black slot, second one in that second black slot. Oh, that's what you mean by match mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So you'll slide this corner right here, down inside Facing there first. Facing this way, right? Yep. So, like this. Just oh, slide tilt it up at an angle. Thing. And once it goes in, down here, it'll sit in that one. Oh, here, see. And it'll just pop right here. You have to shove it down this way a little bit. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yep. And then just, I was like, I don't yep. want to be too. No, 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 that, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, okay. and then clip it in. And then just do a little push down like that with your thumbs. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Is it different? Like, do they function different, black and the gray ones? If you have more RAM inside here and it's all the same, it won't matter. But if you're, say, you're using a uh, 16 gig, you have an 8 gig stick. You oh. your other 16 gigs. So you'll put your 16 okay. and 16, match them up. You put your 8 gig stick and the other color. Okay. That way, the, the the motherboard knows where everything is, and it makes it super simple. Yeah. So if you want to do the other one, make sure the is that pin is this now? That's right. So these pins down here don't move. Either. Oh, okay. These are okay. Yeah, I was like, here. do you click okay. them back or? No. Well, this one will click back they, by itself. So, oh, okay. in the old school, these both used to come, but these are now stationary. So, I'll see what they do now. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Oh, this, this, you, you want this side right here, you want to push it in there, get it in the slot, and just push it back, and then push down. Because the spring inside here, that, uh, that locks oh, it in place. Oh, I see what you mean. Yep, and then, and then push it down. You'll see it. Yep, there you go. Oh, Perfect. Okay. There you go. Perfect. And I always do a little, me, yeah. I always do a little double. Yep, just a little test. Not, not, not heavy, but just a little. Make no, sure not, it's not secure. too heavy, <laughs> but just a little, you know, a little, a little, a little pushy push. Yeah, yeah, a little pushy push uh, to make sure it's in there.